I'm going to record an organ track now, and I'm going to show you what punching in means. Let's go ahead and do Shift Command N and hit return. Name this organ. I'm going to rearrange my tracks. I'm just going to move the drum up here and make sure my click is turned on. Make sure my input and output for my organ is set to the same op 3 4. And here we go. Okay, that was pretty good, but the ending kind of stunk. So what I want to do is record, but just the last two bars. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set my start to seven. You see where I'm clicking here? And start my ending to nine. So that will record from bar seven to bar eight. You can see it highlighted right here in the drum track, even though I'm recording the organ, that's fine. And the other thing that I'm going to do is go to my expanded transport and I see pre-roll and post-roll. Pre-roll is how many bars will be played before I start recording. I'm going to say two bars and then if I want to I can specify a post-roll. Now not only do I need to set the value but I need to make sure this is turned on. See how that glows when it's turned on? So now what will happen is I will hear bars five and six, and then Pro Tools will go into record mode and record bars seven and eight. I'm gonna press the three key to go into record, but again, it won't start recording until it hits bar seven. Let's try it out. I'm hitting the three. Still have my count off in there. Okay, let's see what that sounds like. I'm going to turn off the click, and actually I don't need the count off anymore. Okay, so that's a quick example of how we can punch in over top an existing recording. And what you'll notice here is this is not destructive. We'll talk about that a little later, about destructive versus non-destructive. But non-destructive means that we didn't destroy the original file. In fact, if I use my hand tool and move this out of the way, go to my trim tool now, and you'll see that the old file is still there. Now let me command Z to undo that, and you'll see here's the new file on top. Now you'll notice each time I start playing, even though my cursor is right here, it's always backing up. Once again, that goes back to the pre-roll. Pre-roll works both for recording and for playback, as does post-roll. You can tell pre-roll is active because of this flag here. That's where the playback is going to start. If I turn off pre-roll, the flag turns white, which means I have a pre-roll set to two bars, but it's going to still start right here, no pre-roll. But if I turn pre-roll on, it will start here. Okay, so what I had to do to punch in is first set a start and an ending, and then set a pre-roll so I got a little bit of warm up until record kicked in and I started recording. But there's another way to do this as well and that's called quick punch. Let me go ahead and turn off record here for a second. I'm going to back up to the beginning and I'm going to go under my options menu and choose quick punch. The shortcut for that is shift command P and you'll notice when I do the record button has a little P on it. That means I'm in quick punch mode. Shift command P it turns off, shift command P it turns on. And what Quick Punch does is it lets me go into record and go out of record by pressing either my three key on my numeric keypad or a pedal can be used to 
turn on and off recording. And I'll show you how to set that up a little later. Right now, I'm just going to use the three key. Before I use Quick Punch, I have to record enable the track. But I don't press the three key. I just press my space bar to play or play on the transport and the track will play. It won't go into record mode until I press three or if I have a pedal hooked up to do this when I press my pedal. Here we go. So I'm playing back. You can see down here it says record ready. I'm going to press three when we hit bar five. Here we go. Now you can see right at bar five, a new organ part was recorded. The old part's still there. It was non-destructive recording, so I could get the old part back. And notice once again, the naming is so important. This one's organ 0101, this one's organ 0301. The other thing I punched in before here when we did the first way of punching was organ 0201. And all of those files, by the way, are in my region list, which I can get to by clicking this arrow down here. And you can see all of the files I have recorded and the ones in my session and the ones that aren't. So I can get any of those back just by dragging those to a track.